Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The jury found the defendant Landon K. Bowen guilty of defense contested murder. Is that your verdict? Yes, sir. Is that your man's verdict? Yes, sir. The trial of 28-year-old Amanda Bowen came to an end today when a jury took less than an hour to return guilty verdicts on all charges, including murder in the first degree of Tina Goble and complicity to murder in the first degree of both Caney Johnson and eight-year-old Trinity Maynard. The defense focused on presenting a setting where Jack David Smith was becoming increasingly irrational and threatening in the months leading up to the murders, while portraying Amanda Bowen as being someone more often than not incapacitated due to mental deficiencies and drug abuse. He said, I can, I can kill somebody and burn, burn her house down and get by with my brain. That was the very day these deaths occurred. Yeah. And when he said that, the testimony that Amanda Bowen was passed out. During closing arguments, however, the prosecution told jurors that it was Amanda Bowen who, in her own taped confession, said that she and Jack David Smith had been planning for weeks and that it was Amanda Bowen herself who chose the target of Tina Goble's residence for both robbery and murder. Her statement that she and him said it talked for weeks about where to get a pill. And that night, prepared, donned, donned their dark clothing, put their gloves on and wrapped them with tape, got their guns and their knives, and they went to her best friend's house. With the question of guilt or innocence finally put to rest, the trial now switches to the sentencing phase, which is expected to begin on Wednesday. Reporting from Paintsville, I'm Jackson Latta for EKB News.